This is a very interesting session today in the main hall of your uh, kids campus here organized by our media foundation people particularly due to the interest initiative taken by Mr. Padi. Lot of things have been done in a very short time. Now most of the people who are here they may not be knowing the implications, the meaning of cultural pluralism. They may not be knowing that why we are uh, fixing media with culture and culture with media. These questions must be coming in your mind. Let me tell you, it is very simple. Before the speakers, they come and give their own points, which will be, as Mr. Pari says, between 10 to 15 minutes. There will be an interjection session because, so that in case the ideas are floating in your mind, you can ask them questions. That would be another three to four minutes. But let me introduce the subject before these people take over. One, cultural pluralism is nothing but a sum total of all materials, ideas, images, artifacts, thinking power, traditions, rituals and system of beliefs followed in a particular geographical territory and it will be having definitely contradictions, it will be having diversity, it will be having so many other things. Go to the south, it will be Onam tradition. Go to the north, it will be a different tradition. Go to the east, the New Year falls on different day, Baisakhi Purnima. For Gujaratis, it falls on Diwali. So each one has got a uh, new year, each one has got a beginning. But they all stay with all contradictions. There is no fixed day that this is the date for India. So this is the cultural pluralism. Some people they worship Shiva, some people they worship not Shiva, they worship Krishna, they worship uh, Karthikei. Some people in the South, they, Baba, they uh, go for different uh, puja. That doesn't mean that they are not believed, they are not having any belief. The contradictions, within the contradictions. In India also there are a lot of dishes which are eaten by a lot of people. So intra-contradictions are there. So that is the beauty of the cultural pluralism. And this cultural pluralism has been an endemic feature, a permanent and a perennial feature of Indian tradition because the sages, the hermits and the Vedas and the Sanskrit with which the inter-civilization started, they have bound from Telugu and Tamil to Kashmir. If Kashmir is known for the best of Sanskrit, Telugu is also known for the best of Sanskrit. If east of India, that is Jagannath is known for the best of the temples, Dwarka is also the end of the temples. So the point I wanted to mention is that you will have a lot of diversity, a lot of contradictions. There is no competition. There is a adjustment. This is the beauty of India. Even if one son in the family says, I don't want to go to temple, he doesn't become a non-Hindu. No. He says, I don't want to go to temple, I want to just pray fellow, pray God in my house, in my court. So you will see a lot of people there doing gods, just uh, on the front of the, of the uh, balcony, they keep their gods. They privatize the gods in their own houses. Everyone has got private, if, 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 wherever you are staying, you will be having some space for the gods, I am sure. So each one is privatizing the gods. The selection of the gods, what is the menu card for the gods? You don't give all gods, you give the God, the God which you want. So there is a diversity here, there is a pluralism here. Someone wants to give Hanuman, he gives Hanuman. Someone wants to give Lakshmi, they wants to give Lakshmi. So that also is a freedom given to each and every one. So this is the beauty and the classical uh, pluralism in which we live. Anything which is trying to affect this pluralism is anti-Indian. And media has got a role to play to see that this pluralism is protected. This pluralism is not suppressed. It is not jettisoned. What happened was that when the industrial revolution took place, liberties took place, right to freedom started, industrial revolution came, and the global revolution took place in technology, people thought that pluralism will be coming back in a very big way because each one would be after his own job, 
each one will be connected with the technology, each one will be connected with the satellite, each one will be on the job. So all these problems of competition, envy, lust, our contradictions will go away. But unfortunately, in most of the democracies which became, which went into the uh, globalization, they again started some kind of an ideological problem, like the ISIS in uh, Arab <coughs> deserts, like fundamentalists in some part of Russia or in China. Some fundamentalists have come up in also India. Despite the fact that we are on a modern path, despite the fact that we know that we are a culturally pluralistic society, still the idea and the ideology of competing, surpassing, dominating is still there. But see what is happening in Russia, see what is happening in China, the Kruger rebels, see what is happening in different parts of Africa. Can we say that we are in a globally digitized world now? It's because of the fact that they are going away from pluralism. They are going away from tolerance. They are going away from adjustments. And that is the greatest feature of Indians, that we have always taken care of a street dog by giving milk to the mother of the bitch who has given uh, birth to the leaders, to the, uh, to the small puppies. So the community gives the uh, milk and the food to the bitch in the village, that female dog. That is the kind of tradition we have. But we are going away. And the media has got a, this culture is our pluralism. And media has got a very big role in upholding that. We cannot publish the photographs of Adivasis who are naked women in the foreign journals to show, to say that we are poor and hungry. Because most of the people in Andaman Nicobar also don't wear. It's a part of their life. That cannot be portrayed as the best photograph of the year. But journalism is doing it. Culture is deprived of. And the pluralism is being betrayed. So that is what exactly I wanted to mention. So we would, as Mr. Pani has said, we'll start with each speaker, <clears throat> 10 to 15 minutes. You can intervene for two minutes. And it should go on. And at the end, we will sum it up. Thank you.